Okay, this is my Odroid N2 Plus build. As you look behind here, has the lunchbox handle, has the custom mint green Tales of Symphonia, a uh, 3D printed GameCube. Um, I have a touchpad, sort of keyboard and mouse combo, helps with some navigation. You can, and I'll tell you why more about that. Got your wireless Bluetooth controller. Just hit the home button. It'll sync back to it. Bam. Player one is now synced. And uh, you can see. So the main thing is, um, there's a Bluetooth. I just got common Bluetooth, which works just fine. Um, is that I put Android operating system on here because the Dolphin emulator and the N64 emulator run exceptionally better on the Android operating system for the Odroid devices. Well, at least for this particular Odroid device. I tried some of the other pre-built systems that some people had made um, and they just weren't functioning the way I wanted. So this allows you to have sort of a full multimedia system. You can install all the apps that you can get to in the Play Store, um, you know, and you can also sur easily surf YouTube, um, you can install, um, you got Vivo, you, but you can install all your apps that you want, Pluto TV, uh, HBO Max, Paramount, you name it, it'll let you do that, man. What I, of course, built it for is for emulation, this is one of the better uh, single board computers, the Odroid N2 Plus which will play GameCube games much better. I got lots and lots and lots and lots of games here. But all these, I should refresh there, but if I go too fast, it doesn't refresh, but it will. Anyway, um, but I also, as thing as I have the Play, which is the PlayStation emulator. So, let's see... Um, I mean, we always test Mario Kart. We can test any of this stuff. All this stuff works really, 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 really good. Um, you'd be impressed with this particular computer. Um, it is, I am a huge Raspberry Pi fan, but the Raspberry Pi 4 does not play GameCubes very well, even on the, uh, in the, uh, 64 bit version that someone had been testing recently. Um, you have to have an 8 gig model even to get them to run a little bit. This is a 2 gig model of an Odroid into the hardware in it, um, the CPU and the GPU. Um, let me show you real quick here. Um, well, that's not what I want. Oh, I don't know what it is. Hold on a second. I'm going to go down here to the Odroid settings. Sorry, it's over here. I'm watching the screen, rather. But I have the CPU overclocked to 2.4 and the real course is the 2.016 blah, blah blah and then the GPU is also set to performance which overclocks that you can click on that and change but this is overclocked I have a fan inside of it I don't know if you can see or hear it there's a fan inside there it allows for it to keep it cool and function and uh, yeah I mean I'm super there's the Here's the Google Store. Anything and everything you want in here. There's uh, the Pac-Man game. Um, lots and lots and lots of you know, Android games you can buy, purchase. You can just log in with your own account on here. And you'll be off and running. Hit the B button a couple times here. Take it back to home. I'll at least load up um, something for you. What does everybody want to see? It's not as too easy. And we'll just do with the standard here. Except that I don't have sound hooked up at the moment. So, But I'll show you that you just can do it from the shortcut list. And I also have it to where it pre-compiles the shaders. It takes a few extra seconds. But then it runs a whole, whole, whole lot better. It's full 60 frames per second. No problems at all. The start. 
since I hooked this up Bluetooth, it might need to, I need to put this out of my hand. I'm sitting there holding my phone. I'm trying to make this video work for you guys. Hold on a quick second here. I don't know what that looks like, but I'm hoping it looks a little bit. So, let's turn on the, this, let's hit the back button here. Settings. Config. Just general. No. I don't know. See what I'm looking for here. Configure. Interface. You would think I've never done this before, and I've done it like 50,000 times. Oh, it's under Gamecube. No, it's not. I swear it never failed, but so what we're gonna do is exit English. I'm gonna go up here. Oh my gosh. So the back button. I'll go to Alright, so here's, I <laughs> uh, couldn't get to it from the, uh, when I was already in the emulation, so anyway, here we go, go here, and click on emulated, and it looks like it should be, should be functioning already. Yeah, oh, well maybe not, there's a few button. X, Y, I don't think that's the button I want to do. That try. Start. All right. Um. Oops. Not this one. Not that. This one. All right. Okay. C. Left trigger, right trigger. I must have a different control. Here we go, digital. Oh. And I'm almost done. And then I usually take to make sure, take the, the controller over here and hit save and exit. Then we can go back up here and we can load it from within. You guys know that it's going to work. Let's try tennis. I don't have two tennises in there. Yeah, well, let's try one. Alright, let's see if I hit start. Yes, alright, we're good to go. 
Where? Oh, 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 I'm gonna see. Okay, let's... Uh, yes. Okay, now it's saved. If you see up there, it does save. The card works. Alright, we just want to do exhibition. I want to be Yoshi. Singles. Let's play against. Oh. Yeah, it'll be fun. Intermediate. Normal. Standard. I'll have to make um, a different video that I have this hooked to a monitor instead of a um, you know instead of a TV so I don't have sound coming through the HDMI so I just have to hook it to uh, I have a different TV. All right, so up. Oh. Ooh. It's gonna do something special. Ah. Oh, I missed it. All right. Well, as you can see, tennis is actually one of the ones that occasionally uh, is a little laggy. This plays gorgeously. Um, so once you're in there, um, you can pause it and do all the normals you would. This changes your angle, but anyway, you have to hit pick up this thing. Then hit the back button here, and then use your, whoops, and then just say exit emulation, exit emulation, hit the back button a couple times, take it back out here. And last though, I'm sure some of you are excited to try, I'm going to go ahead and see how long my video is so far. 12 minutes, it's going to be quick, I'm going to show, I got Dragon Quest, which runs excellent, um, Kingdom Hearts, and uh, Coliseum, the animation doesn't work very good, but the game itself plays fine. But, I'll show you this. Um, there has been an update to this recently. Um, by the way, this is a translated version, so for those of you that would like to play Dragon Quest V, it was the Japanese release only, um, you'll be able to play this, and it looks spectacular. Alright, so what I'm going to do is since I already have, I'm going to say load state because I went through all the basics. I wanted to show you. Let's see, we'll go up the stairs. There's lots of work being done on this, um, but otherwise, there are all kinds of games, uh, even Kingdom Hearts. Plays just fine. That's about all I'm going to show you for now. Um, again, um, I just use this little controller here. I hit the, this uh, right button. It pulls up this. Then I just hit uh, you know exit. Takes me back out to the menu. Um, I'm only Tested about three games in here, but otherwise works fantastic. Thanks.